All right. For starters, this is my audience, my beautiful audience. Put you guys right there. All right, grab onto my little clicker. All righty. So, we all have a favorite water bottle brand. Go ahead and think of yours now. Mine was always Fiji. You know, that beautiful bottle, the mountains, the waterfall. Now, think about the journey that this water bottle went on. So first, it comes out of a spring in the ground. It's placed in a bottle. And then you buy it from a store, you drink it. And then what? Imagine every time that you drank a water bottle, that instead of throwing it away, you had to hand it to this guy. Would you still buy it? I'm Art Schubach. I'm an environmental science student here at Eastern. I'm also a climate ambassador for Washtenaw County, and I do a lot of research on water bottles, especially single-use plastic. So there's a lot of myths about water bottles, whether they're safe, whether they're not, whether tap is safe, all of that. I'm here to tell you that water bottles cause harm to the environment, harm to you, and they're also quite expensive as compared to tap water. So why do we need to stop buying these bottles, right? According to the textbook Environment and Society by Robbins, Hintz, and Moore, bottling water began actually in the 1700s. These are bottles over here that kind of show you the first ones. Those are actually glass bottles, but they began bottling water as something that was served to the elite. So it was water that they would say had medicinal benefits and they would market it to you that way. I have an Evian bottle here just kind of as proof that we still have that elite status. We have some celebrities nowadays that will feed their cats and dogs Evian bottles, um, that kind of thing. So that still goes on. In the documentary, um, Tapped, oh, wait a second, sorry about that. According to um, the article, Bottled Water versus Tap, the difference between tap water and bottled water is astronomical as far as prices. So if we were to talk about just 100 gallons of both, all right, say water bottles are just a dollar a bottle, which is very low, we would cost about $4,770 versus $2 of tap water. So that's the difference, all right? Um, this is all pure profit for these large corporations. So some of these companies, especially companies like Nestle, which is actually a Swiss company, it's almost all profit because they take this water out of the ground for basically nothing, including places like in Michigan. Um, the article Nine Facts About Water Bottles article states that 64% of all bottled water is actually tap water that comes from a treatment plant, just like what comes out of your tap. There's also cost to recycling and disposing of your water bottles. The bottles themselves have a negative impact on the environment. One huge misconception is that bottled water is actually safer to drink than tap water. According to the documentary Tapped, bottled water is actually wildly unregulated, while municipal water sources actually have to be um, tested almost daily as in comparison. In the same documentary, they showed just how harmful the petroleum-based chemicals are in the water bottles. So you see that um, the bottles themselves are made of oil products that cause harm to the body. Um, there's even this harmful um, substance in them called PET, um, which is posing health concerns to us as well. According to the article, PET bottles, potential health hazard, most single-use plastic bottles are made from this chemical compound that actually um, mirrors the hormone estrogen. So it can like change your body. There's actually a new article published for the first time four days ago, the title of it, Microplastics Found in Human Blood for the First Time. So this is meaning that plastics from water bottles and other plastics that break down are going to start impacting us in ways that we don't even know yet. So what is microplastic? Well, it's not a micro problem. That brings us to the environment. So how does the water bottle industry affect the environment? According to the article, Nine Facts About Bottled Water, there's a lot of great info in that article, by the way, 29% of all water bottles are recycled. So the rest are either in a landfill, um, on the side of the road, which you may have seen recently with all the snow melting, and also in the ocean. Single-use plastic takes about 450 years to break down. 
Also, animals who come in contact with this type of plastic are harmed because they're either getting caught in it or they're consuming it and then possibly dying. Remember our friend from the beginning. There is even this place in the middle of the ocean called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is actually about the size of France at this point. It's in between Hawaii and California, and it's made of mostly, you guessed it, plastic. According to the article, Worldwide Water Shortage, um, by the year 2040, there's actually estimated that one third of all humans will face water scarcity. Luckily, this big, huge problem has a very simple solution, especially in our developed nation. Changing our habits only slightly can make a huge impact on our health, our wa wallet, and the environment. All right, I really like this quote from Rumi. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. So what that kind of makes me think about is our single impact. A lot of times we don't think we really make a difference, but all together as one, we're the entire ocean, right? One drop at a time. You can form a new habit by purchasing a safe and reusable water bottle yourself. You can begin to map out places that have refillable water stations and then just make them part of your daily routine. One of my stops is at the gym, there's one and it tells you how many bottles that they've saved. Start to keep track of how much water that you drink and you'll start to even realize how many bottles you're saving. Um, and if you must use a water bottle, for some reason you don't feel safe drinking the water where you are, please, please recycle it. Recycling feels good because you know the bottles are not ending up in a landfill or even worse, the ocean. Begin to educate others. That'll feel good too when you teach them your new mission, your new knowledge that you have. Um, you might even be able to create a group where you can go out and clean up some of the trash you see on the highway, including all of those water bottles. Shifting your daily routine completely is never gonna happen overnight. So think about this as taking like one step at a time. Now begin to imagine yourself becoming truly freed of plastic. See all these bottles? I don't know if you guys can see that great, but I want you guys to start by thinking about how many bottles of water per day you drink. So for a lot of us, that's one to two bottles a day. Now divide that or multiply that by 365 days a year. So that's a lot of bottles. For most of us, that would fill up almost like the size of a small bathroom. Then imagine your entire family's worth of water bottles. That could be like a huge, large room in your house. Um, now we'll shift again to a different visualization. Imagine yourself making a plan to use your reusable water bottle instead. How much water do you think you need to drink in a day? Where are you gonna fill the bottle up? Make sure your bottle is big enough that you don't have to fill it a million times. I like to have a big bottle. Think about someone that you might want to tell this new plan to, and they can even help you be held accountable. Now we're going to think about our little turtle friend again. So our sea turtles should not have to worry about whether or not they're swallowing plankton or plastic. They should not have to worry about if there's plastic in the way of their mi migration plan, like in the Great Pacific Patch, right? And they definitely shouldn't have to worry that they might die because they consume plastic. Luckily, things are being done to clean up the plastic in the world, and they're even being done to stricken some of the recycling um, enforcements there are now. But please know that your individual change makes a huge difference. Imagining is one thing, but actually doing something is where the real impact occurs. Environmental problems such as this one seem pretty overwhelming until we look at our own personal impact and how we can only we only have to make these little changes to cause a huge shift. There's actually no excuse for why we're still buying these water bottles. There are many other cost-saving alternatives that do not cause harm to ourselves or the environment. I challenge you to give up your dependence on single-use plastic water bottles. There are many, many innovative alternatives to the problem that we have right now. So the first alternative I'll tell you guys about is called the Lark bottle. On the cap of the bottle, there's actually a light that has UVC rays. So it's actually killing viruses and bacteria at 99.9% .9 of your bottle. I'm sure you guys have all had a bottle that has a smell to it. So this bottle right here will never smell because it's constantly killing the bacteria every two minutes. This middle thing right here is the life straw. So that's actually a filtration system that's more good for someone who's hiking or off-grid often. 
you can actually place this right directly into river or lake water and it completely filters out 99.9% .9 of anything that could be in there. And the final thing right here, I have the Waves for Water project. So this would be more for large scale problems um, in undeveloped nations. You can place water in the top bucket, there's a filter, and then it brings clean water into the bottom bucket. So there's a lot that's being done to kind of fix this problem. I challenge you to give up your dependence on single use plastic water bottles. Let's see here. As humans, our legacy is measured in what we leave behind. Right now, we are leaving behind trillions of tons of garbage. I think that we can do better. Let us drink water the way that nature intended us to, bottle free. Thank you guys so much for listening and being so receptive to this great message. Thank you.